Hey guys, this is Jacques from Akulu Linux and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Lindos 2025, but before I do that, uh, I just want to point out to a cool, cool website that we've just made. People keep asking me, why am I making this website? By the way, if you're looking at this, this is a website. So here's my desktop and here's uh, MS Edge. And there's a website. I'm just going to full screen this. Let's push F11 here. There we go. Full screen. So now we're in the website. This is a website. You see there? webos.linux.com. There is a bottom panel. And there we go. I'm now full screen. So people keep asking me, why did I make this? Because I've made a couple of other videos on it. We made this uh, website into an OS. There's desktop icons. Icons that double as web pages. As you can see, you can now download the latest um, Lindos 2025 Beta 2. Lots of AI cool goodies in here. I'll get to that in a bit. But if you look at it, it's got a desktop. It's got a news panel over there. It's got a, a video over here that actually plays. So you can watch YouTube videos over there. Um, it's got a bottom panel. It's got the zoom slider. So you can actually zoom the desktop bigger, smaller. You've got a, a weather location here that if you actually click it, it actually pulls the weather. It, that's where I am. So it actually checks there. It does an AI analysis of the weather. It gives me feedback and it will generate an image that takes a little longer, 10 to 20 seconds. There we go. There's the image. And um, so you've got AI weather here. You've got an actual calendar here, working calendar here. As you, oh, sorry. You've got an actual working calendar in here. You've got um, lots and lots of AI tools. You've got contact details for us over there. You've got a menu over here. You've got AI tools built in. These are all functional, all of them functional. Like you can generate videos. You can generate actual AI videos straight on the site. You can generate images. You can talk to Electra. And uh, you can talk to the therapist. Next to that, you can talk to Electra. You can say hello. You can have a conversation with our AI directly on the site, on the website. The website that doubles as an OS. The games work. Internet browser works. You've got news here. You've got system settings. You can even customize your uh, uh, settings. You can change your colors, icons, everything. Uh, you can set your background. So we've made this website into like a mini OS. Here's the news. You can read the news. And these windows are draggable. So you can drag them around. So you can open multiple ones, resize them, drag them, move them, tile them, whatever. You can click to minimize straight on the panel and then bring them up again, just like a normal OS. So we've built this website to be an OS, but also a website, right? So this is really cool stuff. And it's functional. Everything's functional. You want to play games on here? No problem. Just go to games and choose a game. Let's see. Uh, let's choose uh, Mortal Kombat, maybe. Moto X. Moto X is quite nice, I think. So we can open up Moto X. And there we go. Close. Stage one. Anyway, let me get out of there. You can play games. There's a ton of games on here. Some really, really, really cool games on here. So put games on, internet on. We put some apps on. Calculator, document viewers, image viewers, live webcam, maps. Maps is also on here and it works. So look there, it picks me up. You are here. Um, and so well, there's a lot of functionality, but people keep asking me why. Why do this? Why make the website into an OS and a website? Well, there's a simple exp explanation for this. So let, let me explain. I tried to explain it to somebody else earlier today as well. You know, if you if you go to a place like NASA, for example, you'll, you'll meet a bunch of people that work there. You know, guys that are sort of engineers and tool designers and, and whatever else. And if you go to all the engineers and you speak to them, they're just regular guys. And you go to the office and they've got 
drawings and sketches everywhere and lots of stuff on the PCs standing open, you know, 3D CAD designs and so forth. And they'll have a bunch of tools lying around and, and so forth. But it's, it's like a normal engineer's office, right? And then you go to that one guy. There'll be this one guy that will have an office that looks like one of the, maybe the Star Trek Next Generation his office will look like the Star Trek bridge. Now, it doesn't, it's not the actual bridge, obviously. And all the, all the fake buttons and stuff that he put in there, a lot of them won't really do anything. A couple of them might do something really cool, you know. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a look of the bridge, not the actual bridge. But it's really cool. You know, maybe because when he was a kid, he watched Star Trek and that's, you know, what made him get into engineering in the first place. But he's going to be that one eccentric engineer who's going to have the coolest office that actually looks like a Star Trek bridge, right? And that is what this is. It's a website, but it looks and feels like an OS. And it functions. We've actually added some really cool stuff in here. And so that's what this website is for us. It's a website, but it's also an OS. We, we post videos on here. In fact, if I put two videos, it will show two, three, four, five. I can put up to nine videos on the desktop. I've got my news panel on the right. You know, I can keep adding and you can just scroll through the news, click on any of the articles and they'll open up like a normal web page. Resizable, scrollable. You can make them full screen. You can minimize them, restore them. Web links on the desktop. You got your panel at the bottom. You got the quotes that keep changing every time you refresh. The quotes change. They also change daily. Uh, you've got a menu. A lot of really cool AI stuff works here. AI coder. You can actually code with AI. Yes, it's a real coder. Just let it. There we go. Write me a calculator that looks like a gnome calculator. And it will actually write you the code. And you can code in here. This is on our website. You don't even have to install Makulu to use this. And uh, co our coder does take about 30 seconds or so to actually respond because it's a thinking model. There we go. And if you actually scroll up here now, you'll see there. It's written the code. You can just copy it. Click copy. Boom. There's a copy tag. And it gives you all the details here. It even explains the code for you. If you have issues with code, you can just paste your code in here and ask questions. It will help you fix the code. It will whatever. And it's all free. So we've got cool tools that actually work. Oh, sorry. We've got cool, cool tools that actually work. You know, like the, the coder, Electro AI works. We have a, 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 where's the video editor? We've got a content generator. Click on that. Generate anything, poem, blog, whatever. You can specify anything that you want generated. Give a couple of keywords and just hit generate. It will generate it for you. You can save it to your PC. And you can do it in multiple languages. Like you can go here, for example, let's go to, where's like, uh, choose something, Japanese. Where's Japanese? And I say uh, keywords. We will say the keywords, um, polar bears are unique. Okay, so polar bears are unique, and we're going to put that into an article, and we're going to generate an article. Polar bears are unique, and we're going to generate it in Japanese. And watch this. And there we go. Look at that. Now, I could save the content, save it to my PC, regenerate it, make a new request. It's so easy. We've got some really cool tools in here that are actually functional. And so the whole idea of this website is to be why? Because we can. Why not? Um, we've got some cool stuff on you. Connect with us. Our Discord, our email, our Twitter, our WhatsApp, our YouTube. The same links that are on the bottom here. Um, we've got games on here. News. Uh, of course, those same website uh, links are on here as well. Internet browsers. Even a cloud browser. And uh, like I said, we've got some cool apps. We've got a sketch pad on there. Just like your, I guess, similar to your um, GNOME no, um, uh, where's the sketch pad now? Do, 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 do. Sorry, apps. There we go. Sketch pad. You can draw in your yeah. sketch pad. It's a sketch pad just to mess around with. You can actually save it to your PC. 
Um, so yeah, some cool, really cool stuff in here. Calculator with the AI calculator. You can do a calculation. Da, 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 da. And anything that you calculate. Oh, sorry. That was my bad. I don't know why I keep doing that. Anything you calculate, 6 plus 3 equals 9. And now the AI will generate a fun fact on 9. It's an AI calculator. The AI actually generates fun facts based on the numbers. Like just some cool stuff on here. Why not? Because we can. Because while all the other Linux developers are making a plain WordPress website and they all look alike, we'll stand apart. Why? Because we can. And that's basically <laughs> the reason that we made our website into an OS. And by the way, I keep working on new features for this website that's also an OS. I'm going to keep adding really cool stuff to it. This is going to be like a mini OS, right? <laughs> but it's also a website. Why? Because we can. And we because we're cool as hell. And that is the reason we made this website that looks like an OS feels like an OS, acts like an OS. I can even I can even change the menu to a full screen menu. And look now. Now if I click menu, I've got a full screen menu. Just like the, the like the GNOME menu. Full screen menu with categories. You can search. And if you click away, boom, back to the desktop. So we've added some really cool, cool features here. And I, I'm not even done with it. I'm still adding more stuff. But that's the idea behind our website. Making a website that looks cool as well, a cool as hell. Why? Because we can. Because it's just it it just shows that's who we are. Anyway, uh, so that's why I made the website. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the Lindos in this video because I don't want to make this video too long. I already spoke too much about the website. I'll make the next video more about Lindos 2025 Beta 2, which is available now, by the way. You can download it. Just click on the little Lindos link over here and go to the bottom and you can download. I have not put up the SourceForge mirrors yet because the moment I put up SourceForge links, DistroWatch is going to pick it up. And I don't want to list it there yet because I'm still doing some videos and other stuff. And so this mirror is coming soon. But that's the reason. I don't want to I don't want to list it on DistroWatch yet. And so I have not put up those links. The rest of the links you can download the, the ISO is already there. Okay. When I'm ready, probably in a few days' time maybe, I'll put up the Sword Forge mirrors. Then those links will work as well. For now just download off the one of the others. We've made multiple mirrors. Enjoy it. There's lots of AI in there. So, so, so much AI. You guys are going to love it. Uh, so, yeah, it's the Beta 2. It runs well. It's pretty polished. And it's got the hands-free AI, which is what I'm going to show off in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And check out our website, by the way, www.makululinux.com. It's really easy. Or, alternatively, webos.makululinux.com. Either one will work. You'll get to this website. This website, that's also an OS. Just click around. Try it. There's so much cool stuff in here. Oh, and you guys might want to try the editor. Where's the editor? Uh, let's see. Where's the document viewer calculator? Where's the editor? Did I move it? Oh, yeah. AI, AI text editor. Wow. This is so cool. You really want to check this out. Like this. Like this is a, like a notepad editor where you can do stuff, but you can also generate stuff, do translations, insert stuff. Um, it's, it's a really cool editor, by the way. Um, loads of AI tools yet to play with. Oh, and we also added some, uh, 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 where is it? There, Dungeons and Dragons. We added Dungeons and Dragons in here. Is And the AI World Weaver. You guys need to check that out. That is so cool. Especially the Dungeons and Dragons. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan, I'm going to actually make a video of that on its own because this is so cool. Cool. But like I said, it needs its own video. It's just too much to explain, yeah. But it's AI Dungeons and Dragons. Really, really cool. Anyway, guys, that's my video for today. Um, I wanted to explain what the purpose of this website is because I think I'm confusing a lot of people. They don't know. Am I building it? Is, is Makuru Linux building a new OS? What's going on? Like people are just, they don't know. And so I just want to say, no, it's not, we're not building a new OS. We're, we're making a website. That's also an OS, not really a real OS, a simulated OS. That's why if you actually go here about, it tells you a web-based desktop environment, simulated OS. And it said uh, 
ex the project explores the concept of a fully web-based operating system interface built to run mcculloughlinux.com. So this OS website, uh, it, this OS simulated OS is basically just a website, right? It's just a cool, cool website with actual functionality. Uh, so yeah. Have fun with it. Check it out. Check all the AI stuff out. It's all free. We don't limit anything. And when you want to, download the Lindos, install it, run it, because it's cool as hell. There's nothing out there like it. I can tell you now, there's not an operating system in the world that can touch it. Not even Windows. Windows does not have this kind of AI in it. Apple does not have this kind of AI. No Linux has this kind of AI in it. I don't even think there's any kind of Unix or even Android doesn't have this kind of, kind of AI in there. Like the fact that you can just right click on stuff and just wow, no, I, I, I've tried everything. There's nothing out there like it. I'm actually going to make a video on it next. I, I've been meaning to make one. Um, so yeah, so the next video is going to be really cool. But this video is about Web OS. We're calling it Web OS. If you go here, it says Web OS, which is basically just the website. So website and an OS, Web OS. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Working late in the light of our Makulu screen Customizing themes that are oh so clean A system stable with a heart of open source Makulu's whispers guide me No need to force LibreOffice scribing through no end, no cap With every app I need, it's a creative sap is app in the glow in the flow Makulu's insight show AI core open door guiding as I go the comfort of the code so bright in the screen soft light Makulu harmony in text endless flight smooth like the river Makulu runs deep updates that deliver promises to keep Boot it up, feel the pulse, Makula's beat so serene With every line of code, it's like living the dream AI's mind like the stars guides us through the night Makula's here, and everything just feels so right In the grip of Makula we find our pace Sailing through cyberspace Elegance and grace